morning or good afternoon or good evening depending on where you are hopefully everybody is safe and well uh, we have finally managed to get a holiday and we're going on a road trip so I thought I would pass along some of our journey um, and make a short video we are road tripping from a house in Gloucestershire in the UK into uh, Champaluc in Italy to go snowboarding. So we're gonna have a real car full of stuff. We don't want to have to cover best part of a thousand miles in one go. So we are overnighting in France. We're going from Gloucester to uh, the Channel Tunnel, uh, through the Channel Tunnel, and then on through into Troy in France in our first stint. And then uh, the next day we'll set off from Troy and head for our final destination in Champeluc. Now because we're travelling through France, we have to have the yellow vests in the car. So I'm making sure I've got those and I've also packed a whole load of stuff into my coffin book, which I will show you in a second. The suitcases and snowboard coffin bags are being packed in the house and I'll be loading those up later on. One quick super top tip, which completely caught us out the last time we did this trip which is now over two years ago make sure you switch off avoid toll roads when you're going through France otherwise you get to see some beautiful countryside but that wasn't the aim of the game we were trying to get through France and into Italy as quickly as possible and uh, we ended up using the regular roads rather than the motorways which of course in France are toll roads and here is where you find avoid toll roads so tap the car icon go into navigation and then look down at the bottom here we've got avoid tolls and avoid ferries here's a thing you can do you get your destination on your phone and then you can send it to your car so that's what I'm gonna have a go at showing you how to do here you go into Google Maps you choose your destination uh, you then make sure it's the right one click the little menu button, share your place, find the Tesla app, and bam, there it goes, shared with my car. That's sent the route to my car. I don't really want to stop at Reading services. So there is Reading. The services that I want to stop at for supercharging, I'm going to change that. I'm going to edit my destinations. I'm gonna edit my trip, I'm gonna add Wokingham and I'm going to make sure it's stopping there before our stop in Troy and it'll recalculate that the car has quite happily plotted all the way to our destination now this bit is in blue because this is the bit that we can make with the current charge and then the rest is shown in uh, like a slightly grey sort of a colour because we need to charge in order to get to those superchargers. And there is our final destination for our overnight stop. And that's our final charge just outside Troy. So I've already been busy in my sub boot. I've got my Type 2 cable in case I need it. Um, I've got a snow shovel, which I doubt I'm going to need knowing the forecast. I've got a puncture kit. I've got an inflator. These are my trusty snow chains, which again, I'm not expecting to need to use. Um, we have our uh, snowboard waxing kit. That can go in there. And of course, over here, I have my CCS combo adapter because my car charge port is a Type 2 with her being a Model S. This gadget, along with some electronics under my back seat, lets me plug in a CCS plug. This allows me to use some of the V3 chargers of which there are some along our route. Now the boot in the Model S is absolutely huge. I'm gonna be dropping that back seat so that we can fit our snowboard coffin bags through the single slot. So there we go, snowboard bags in. That's load up suitcases. Front luggage loaded. 
and Frank on the way down. Let's go. That's it, we're all loaded up and we're off. So here we go, first stop, Wokingham. Wokingham's a V2 charger with both Type 2 and CCS plugs. We started how we meant to go on by making the most of my new MCU2 and the fact that we've got lots of new built-in games. So we are going through the tunnel. This should be good. Busily gaming away, Stop. further into France. Lots of lovely V2 chargers. Second supercharging stop in France. Um, we're at Air de Villas, I think. So here we go. And amongst all the lorries. Not the nicest of stopping spots. Still, good bank of superchargers. So I'm going to film this way because look at that beautiful, beautiful sunset. So this is our third supercharger stop in France. Um, we're just outside Reims and our next stop is going to be Troy and that's, that's where we're staying for the night. So yeah, we're currently enjoying this absolutely magnificent sunset. We're going to be on our way again shortly. Here's our abode for the night. Uh, that's the B and B at Troy. We're all parked up, all fueled up at the supercharger, and ready to go again tomorrow morning. Night, everybody. There is a very cold ninja this morning, and a beautiful sunrise and the moon. That's not a moon. That's not a moon. Or probably Venus. I think that no, that I think that's a shiny star. Not a shiny star at all. I think that's Venus.
So that's the first supercharging stop of the day and we are at Dijon. Dijon is a V3 supercharger Loads and we have got a CCS adapter on my Model S and top tip, just in case you forget your CCS adapter anywhere, stick some tape around it, write your phone number on it and then people can get it back to you. Okay, so this is for everybody who thinks that electric cars are quiet. This is my Model S supercharging. And this is the supercharger charging my car. Now what you've got to imagine is a bank of all of these charges full with everybody's cars sounding like this. quick uh, splash and dash of electrons at Geneva and then we're off to the Mont Blanc tunnel. Scenery is lovely and we're starting to see some snow. for getting up the hill and back down again at the uh, end of the week. So that's nearly the end of our journey. This is room 202. it to Stafal and uh, that's probably just about it for our first day snowboarding. Uh, as you can see not a lot of snow. Not a very good snow season this year at all.
The Aosta supercharger heading towards the Mont Blanc tunnel is really tricky. The sat nav says in X hundred feet, take the junction. And as you're approaching it, you automatically think that means the Aosta junction, which is marked with a T2. Now I think from memory, the sat nav had a little marking on it to indicate you wanted the T1 lane Mont Blanc. Now we got this wrong not once but twice. If you get it wrong you have to go around and it sends you back onto the motorway the wrong way and you end up going up and down the same stretch of the E25. I'm going to try and point out here how you get to the supercharger. As you approach you need to be in the Mont Blanc tunnel lanes and those are marked with a T1. You carry on down here until you get to the the toll booths you have to stay in the left hand lanes there's two lanes e25 left hand lanes mont blanc towards the toll booths once you get to the toll booths you head through the toll booths and then there is a junction immediately on the right here that goes to the services this is the junction that the sat nav is talking about once you go down that junction Again, there is an immediate junction on the right, which goes into the actual services. And that goes over a flyover. And drops you into the lorry park. At the back of the lorry park, that's where the superchargers are, half a dozen of them. Again, not the nicest location because it is in the lorry park. The sat nav to get back out of here is a bit more straightforward. So we stayed at the Ibis last night and they've got a charging post and at the Novotel behind us there are superchargers behind that. So I'll just go show you the charging post. So the charging post is up at the top end of the car park. There is a separate little car park here and uh, there is the Ninja all plugged in. So the charging post is quite literally lift up plug in bring your own type 2 cable plug the car in she started charging and i have a lock that i use just in case anybody fancies acquiring my cable but yeah she's been charging and now all toasty warm ready to go again
we're just at the Channel Tunnel. We've charged up. See their electricity, they're using uh, wind turbines behind us. Um, and uh, we're about to start boarding and then we'll be back over across the UK. Nearly the end of our trip. last supercharge before we go home we're at Membury and uh, been pulling over a hundred kilowatts which is good we need to charge up here to get back to Gloucester and then we'll head home So that rounds off our European trip. It's taken me a while to edit this one together. There was more footage than I expected. Some of the footage is a bit variable because I've got some of it's coming off my mobile phone. Some of it's come off the built-in Tesla dash cams and some of it's come off my third party next base dash cam that I've got mounted in the windscreen. We just used the superchargers. We charged when we were eating or when we were sleeping we used one third party charger at the hotel and and that was it that was so easy we covered uh, something like 2,000 miles over the week it's it's really easy to do in a Tesla and it's so convenient and the superchargers are the right sort of distance apart it just it just works so if anybody's got any questions about road tripping feel free just to comment below and I'll I'll try and answer any questions that you've got. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. I appreciate it got a bit long. I've added bookmarks for each of the locations that you might be interested in in the video to try and make it easier to jump into the bit that just interests you. And that's it. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. Send me some feedback. Let me know if, if there's something that you'd like me to cover. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you have a great day. Bye!